Hey guys, it's Arsenal back with an all new video and today I'm going to be showing you how you can create animated smoke effects completely inside of Photoshop so you can export it as a video or you can export it as a GIF for animations. Okay, so I'm having a picture of 2048 by 1152 resolution. It's somewhere off Street Fighter 5. So I'm going to be using this picture. So first of all, thing I'm going to be doing is to unlocking the background. Now, something very important, if you guys want more videos like this, if you want to learn about Photoshop, After Effects, and a lot more stuff coming together, um, I also have released some few templates for After Effects there down below if you want them. Also, my presets are now completely for free. If you want them, you can check them out down below. And yeah, make sure to like and subscribe. Hitting the subscribe button, make sure that you check the bell icon. That's going to be helping me a lot. With that getting said, let's get started so first of all thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be cropping this picture because I want it to be somewhere of uh, the Instagram story size so just take that down you can also follow me on Instagram it's underscore hey sorrow and it might be showing up right around here so just check it out I also check delete cropped pixels that means all the pixels that were left behind are now deleted okay so we're having our main layer here so I'm gonna be naming that main whatever you like doesn't matter the name doesn't matter at all so I'm going to be creating a new layer and go to filter. Now, first of all, I'm going to be filling this layer. Make sure press shift plus backspace and type in black and click OK. So we have our layer like that. Now go to filter, render, clouds. So we have our clouds layer. Now what we need to do next is to press B on your keyboard for the brush tool. Take down the hardness, full opacity and full flow and just increase the size by those um, bracket keys and now remove it like the smoke you want them like this much would be pretty much good okay now what we need to do here is that you need not to remove smoke like that if you remove that smoke like that that's gonna cause issues you need to create a mask onto it so creating a mask and make sure that your brush color is black select the mask and now paint over it make sure that your brush hardness is zero percent now like that it's done now take down the opacity to 50% and your flow should be around 10% I like to keep it at 10 and paint over this area the smoke that you want to be a little bit faded so that it starts revealing the area before or beneath it so have our smoke being generated like that now right click over to the mask and click on apply layer mask so we have our smoke layer so you can name it smoke now right click over to the smoke click on convert to smart object now once you do so, what we're going to be doing is that I'm going to be creating a new layer, placing it right down below the main and going to be filling it completely with white for this way to transform. Also I'm going to be making this smart object for the main layer. Now once you've done that, this is a very crucial step so make sure there are smart objects. Go to window and enable timeline and click on create video timeline. Now I'm going to be zooming out a bit. Okay, so in a smoke we have this transform option if you rasterize it you're gonna only get the position so if you haven't done that make sure that it's a smart object if you're thinking that why I'm not getting that particular object okay now I'm gonna be taking this down to two seconds all these three layers all of them to two seconds once you do so the thing next thing we need to do is to make sure that our loop playback option is enabled I'm gonna be keeping the resolution as 25% now once that done we're having our thing pretty much run like that now click on transform option over to the smoke that will create a keyframe make sure that you're at very beginning now go over to very last and press ctrl plus t and enable click on this diamond button to create another keyframe ctrl plus t and move the smoke up to the way you want it just like that and click ok now you can take down the opacity of smoke around 75 percent so that looks good i'm going to be taking it 85 85 is pretty good now what I'm going to be doing is that I'm going to be unlocking the main layer and I'm going to be going to the very beginning I'm going to be clicking on the transform option I'm going to go to very very last I'm going to press ctrl plus T and I'm going to be increasing it from all the sides press hold alt and shift and increase it just like that so it looks like it's zooming into it so what we get is if you play it it's going to keep looping like that now if you want the smoke to be fade in, you can apply the fade transition. Right now I'm clicking over to that and dragging the fade over to that. Now what you're gonna get is, so it looks pretty dope, isn't it? So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want this template, it's given below in the description with a picture in a zip file. 
So make sure to get it if you want a particular idea how I did it in perfect manner. And I hope that would be it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe. That's going to help me a lot to create more of these videos. So it's Sourcing Art from Fuzzy Tech, signing out.